Welcome to the fifth and final episode of the Chiami Kwame Versatile Reality Show. Over the past few episodes, we have brought you all the exclusive info and updates with regards to the ultimate countdown to the December 14th show. As we draw down the curtain on the reality show, we will run through the various past episodes up until now and recount some of the key moments as well as progress realized towards the mega show. It's a one mic jam. C-A-R-O Looks check, brains check, swag check, class check, style check, flex check, cash check Also on this episode, we catch up with the dance team and Kwame together with the actors on stage as they put final touches to their act for the big event. White wedding is my bed in no brown wedding. I can't marry you I may not marry you so go get that drink and grab your popcorn and get ready to walk down memory lane. We will be right back. Share more with up to five people on your MTN Wi-Fi anywhere. More, chat more, download more at supersonic speeds. Your MTN MiFi comes with a free dock. Visit any MTN outlet to get yours today. Explore your world of possibilities with MTN MiFi. MTN, everywhere you go. Welcome back. In the previous episodes, we have journeyed with the rap doctor as he made arrangements towards actualizing his dream event for the December 14th Mega Jam. Let's recap the journey so far. We begin by looking back at how it all began, from conceptualization through to actualization. The Versatile Show, um, I'll say, came to me about seven years ago when I started having the edge that ah, I think I should have my own show. And when I have my own show, it's, it is not going to be the regular hip life come from the back and come on stage and perform type of show. I want to bring together theater, dance and music. The main concept for the show is that um, we are going to do for the first time, I think, in the world, we are going to try to achieve cantata with rap, where there's drama, there's dance, and there's music. But this time, it is not just singing. It is in rap. And so it's like poetry with rhythm and acting at the same time. The press launch. Our idea was to bring the press and the bloggers and the spammers and bring the TV and everybody to come so that we share with them our idea and then you know they ask questions to find out exactly what we want to do so that they will propagate it for us for people to get to know about the show earlier and prepare so the press came and they liked the idea they, they perceived me to be a creative versatile musician so I can do it but whatever it is that is what we wanted to inspire. We wanted people to begin to wonder about what we are going to do. And I think um, the debate has already started. So after the press launch, Ochiame Kwame proceeded to rope in experts who could help bring the show to life. Some key names such as Uncle Lebu White of Riverman Productions and Ace choreographer Professor Niyati were called on board. As a creative person, I have always been interested in the creative talents of Ghana. I've always been interested in seeing what I can do to help us lift creativity in Ghana. And I have that commitment because it is, societies are changed by the artists, not by the politicians, not by the intellectuals. Societies are transformed, paradigms are shifted by the artists. And among the artists that I believe Ghana is blessed with, is um, Ochiame Kwame. Um, I liked the way he carried himself. I liked his passion to his and his commitment to his art and his um, craft. 
I like the fact that he always wanted to challenge his comfort zone and to push his boundaries as far back as he could. So when he came up with this idea of the versatile show, I was, I was thrilled. I was thrilled that he was ready and committed to giving Ghanaians um, an awesome live performance. And um, I felt that um, whatever I can do to help him realize that vision and to realize it in as big a way as possible, I had a responsibility to myself, to him and to Ghana to do that. Having listened to him and having known how he operates, I find this young gentleman as somebody who bridges the tradition and the modern way of, if you like, doing music. And of course that clicks uh, uh, and tickles me as well because that's the way I work. I take from the tradition into the modern. In other words, I use a lot of traditional materials in my work as a choreographer and as a teacher. And uh, uh, therefore, my vision is Uchami Kwame's vision. From here on, dancers from around the country were invited for auditions and dancing roles in the Mega Uchami Versatile Show. Prof and his team went through the tedious process of selecting outstanding dancers that could best suit. So with dancers on board, it was time for studio rehearsals with the ex-megastar band at the musical studio to rehearse songs on a Chemi Kwame's album and present them in a live band form for the final show. Zab Mallet, music producer and composer extraordinaire, was engaged as a consultant to add a creative musical director's touch to the production. We hear from Zab and some of the other artists on the bill. I'm with this project as a technical director, technical consultant. My role is to make sure everything, you know, technically, um, per sound, is very tight and roundly knit. The impression has been very good, per rehearsal, out, and uh, I just hope um, it's, it's going to continue. Well, I believe it's going to continue, and definitely we are going to have a good show. I just went in to do my rehearsal with Ochiya Mikwami for the song Don't Judge Me. The band is really good, really, really good. They made me enjoy what I was doing in there, so it was fun. Good work has been done here, so I don't see why you should expect anything different. It's going to be the best concert ever. Doing a hit song from Wachame Kwame in Sika um, is a very great achievement um, and experience just from the rehearsal grounds. And the rehearsal tells how much uh, and how rich the show is going to be. So um, I'm definitely participating, and um, it's, it's all about the rehearsal today. And it was an awesome rehearsal. Everything went on well. The voices, everything, the mixing went on well. So expect a good show. As the rap doctor told us earlier, the show is about music, drama, and dance. On the drama side, Ochiame and his supporting actor Raquel also rehearsed parts from the script for the big event. Why are you still sleeping with me? If you know you won't marry me. But I'm wet, you know. 
You know I don't even make 12 million old Ghana cities. So? But you want an air condition, you want Gucci bag, you want Iraqi hair, you want high-tech law on your nails. Comparing my 10 years of innocence to Iraqi hair, long nails, Gucci bag and air condition. Ah! I am living. Do you know how much this costs out there? In fact, no! You are the one leaving. Yes, I am leaving. That is what I said. Yes, I was thinking that I was saying in my head that I am leaving first before you came to say I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving now. The script actually is allowing us to also improvise and also add our own, um, what do you call it, like put in our own thoughts, um, which is great. You get some scripts and it's like you have to follow it accordingly exactly how it is but with this one it's like we can add our ideas and we are actually working together as a team so um, that's what we've been doing today I'm here with my team Black Star Star Entertainment and I would just like to say congratulations to Ochami Kwame and his, his team I mean um, this is wonderful you don't get to do things like this in Ghana and I think this is a great concept and something that would, um, would, would it, it's gonna be very successful I know that for sure and on the music side, the rap doctor availed himself for voice training lessons. However, during one of his daily sessions, our man was observed to have lost his voice and was unable to hit his notes as expected. She's busy. Oh, man. <clears throat> Go ahead, you can do that. Water, please. No, water. water. But don't, don't shout. Okay. She's busy waiting for somebody. <clears throat> you see where I'm coming from? Yes. Because you've actually lost a My part voice. of your tone, it doesn't project. Yes. Whether you try it or not. And that's why I'm glad you came today. So now we're going to cure you. Okay. Because you have a big task ahead of you. It's true. This week we couldn't do too much with the vocals because of him losing it. But by next week we'll be okay. Tonight has been really disappointing. Um, the fact that I couldn't even hold a note um, because my voice will not let what my brain is trying to pitch out come out. And it's all because I failed. I know the rules, I'm not supposed to shout. But I went out with Tamale and I, shout, and I shouted and this is going to cost me about one week of rehearsals. And now um, I have to go and chew ginger on top so onwards we go rehearsals got polished up further and more artists like raquel and caroline also passed through to rehearse with the band
part of preparations towards the final show, the rap doctor frequented the gym to tone his muscles and gather stamina for the pending stage performances. Very good. Five, go there for me. Six, very good. Seven, four more. Eight, thank you. Nine, last one, give it to me. And ten, thank you. The other, we go. Slowly down all the time. Six, slowly down all the time, good. Seven, good. Eight, thank you. Slowly down all the time. That then I left him. The left cannot slow down. Uh. Slow down here. Slow down. Nine. Uh. Slow down on this hand. Slow. Ten. Thank you. Okay. So, as you can see, it's not been easy. But um, we are trying to put up a good show. And I'm going to be on stage constantly for two hours. So I need to build endurance and I need to build strength and muscles as well uh, and have a good tone for my fans because apart from everything I realize that my fans also want me to look good. Endurance and strength is for myself so that I'll not be hyperventilating on stage but for the toning is for my fans. So we have recapped the episode so far. Still to come, we take a look at what transpired this week. interior and exterior decorations, combination of professional and skillful expertise for your weddings, birthday parties, anniversaries and that special occasion, look no further than Danny's Decorations. At Danny's Decorations, we create an attractive and comfortable area with planned balloons, texture and light to establish a feeling of luxury to suit your special and memorable event. Locate Danny's Decorations at Tema Community 4, behind the Internal Revenue Service, or call Sarah 022-211-086 or 0244-364-322. Danny's Decorations, taking you beyond your imagination. The early man gathered around a fire for entertainment. The morning man play with his gadgets for entertainment. Fun in the future, music, theater, and dance will be assembled on one stage by one man for one people. The Versatile Show, December 14th, National Theater. MTN, everywhere you go. As the D-Day draws nigh, the dancers together with Kwame put final touches to the dance routines. Let's take a look. It's a one man
Next on the list of activities for the week, key members of Roverman Productions, together with some actors on the bill, rehearsed some of the lines for the drama script. I don't need taxis. Come on, I drive an air conditioned Rolex. No, but you can't waste my time, okay? Later, later. Hello? Brother? Yes. Come on, my phone doesn't use five cities of credit. No! I open it on post pay, you pay. Oh, please, come on, look. It's later, later, later. Ah. My goodness. Ah. These Martinian men with no, no wealth in their pockets. What the hell do they take me for? Look, you only want a machine if you are going to take some services. Rock and roll. Hey, hey, nothing. Only what's your perturbation? What kind of spell? Ah, you are. Are you still waiting, wasting your time on these silly little makeup books? But I love him. I want to be with him. Oh, but you are crazy. You are the mom. Me, one day, I will get five hundred million dollars. Don't laugh. It's not happening. I'm going to process a high quality international standard gallery for export. It will convert some into gallery wings, gallery neck, gallery flakes, and even gallery gown. And no woman shall ask me to use the house. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Can you do? I'm going to do something. Wait. I left. I left her. I left her. Uh, 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 who are you uh, What type of question is that? How many girls do I have? Oh, I mean, I should find girls. You're the crazy. I'm the crazy for it. This girl is one lesson. You say that you sacrifice her. Since she has been added in love and again, she's dropped yet. Are you the least girl? Chop yet. You ain't the chopper. It says, I'm talking about that. Oh, Charlie, listen to what I'm talking about. This girl, if you left her, then quick. In the middle of the production, Ghanaian R&B sensation, Kwesi, formerly known as Dead Buddy, passes through. Apparently, word about the versatile show has reached him, and Kwesi has come to confront the rap doctor about why he's not on the bill. Basically, I'm here to support my brother Kwame, um, who's been a, a, fan, a, a brother and a friend since we started um, our careers in this music. Um, as everybody knows, I've been away for a while. Um, I've been in the States studying music, and now I'm back. So the best thing to do is to come and support. Um, I feel like I've heard a lot of what my brothers are doing in Ghana and I felt like I should be part of it. So basically, I came on a set um, to basically talk to him. Um, it feels great and basically what we're doing is on the 14th of December, I knew there's going to be a show so I'm like, okay, let me come stop through and talk to my brother about it and you know, luckily he was here and I had to jump on set to question him why I'm not on there but I, at the end of the day it feels good because now I'm on it. So. Um, I hope like this is the time for people to hear our voices as musicians and what we can do. And for everybody who's listening to this, no matter what you do and no matter what you know how to do, let people know you know how to do it because it's only you. As the rehearsal comes to an end, Kwame and the actors on stage tell us about their impressions of the day's activities. I had to fill in for one of the cast members that was not able to make it for today. So after reading through the script, we started with the blocking. That is how it's going to appear during the program. And we went through the lines with Ochame Kwame and the other cast members that were around. This is the first time I'm meeting Ochame Kwame and it has been quite interesting. He's a, he's a person full of creative thoughts and it was very impressive meeting him for the first time. As part of Roverman production, we are also part of the versatile show um, we came and the rehearsal has gone well has gone so cool and we're moving from one level to a different level um, I've seen a channel for me a couple of times but today we're getting to a level of closeness and I was so excited about him because I mean he's easy to share ideas with what he doesn't know you can see the expression on his face how excited he is to learn and I think that's very good. That is a hallmark of someone who wants to be great. And some of us who also want to be like him, we're learning from. 
today's um, rehearsal I can't say went well but I can't also say it didn't go well because um, some musicians that were supposed to perform with didn't show up and because of that um, it shifted the whole plan out of gear but some people came Kabote and some of the Roverman crew were here so we actually went ahead to do what we have to do and just as you know I'm not the type of person who builds um, my the success of what I'm doing around the energies of other people so um, rain shine push shove we did it and you see sometimes when these things happen it takes you back to the same tangents you were last week and for you to be able to move forward it will cost you hours it will cost you energy it will cost you time again um, to be able to move forward and it's it's sad sometimes but I'm happy that at least I came here it's my show so I must bear this cross so, this is how we end the reality series. The big event is just around the corner. Remember, the date is December 14th at the National Theatre. And as usual, for more information about the show and more, be sure to log on to www.ochiamekwami.com. We'll leave you with these final words from Mr. Versatile. You know, so when you think of the versatile show think of a show with a difference with humor with glamour with glitz and the versatile show is a show which has been designed for you